What's up, Slam Dancers? Today on Slam Dance with Christine 16, we have yeah. Aoki Gahara, who just opened up yeah. on the Suicide Silence 10 year tour for the Clansang! Dude, we all just got our asses handed Whoop, in that yeah. Tour. How was that show for all you guys? Ah, oh, I'm still hurting on it. Brutal oh shit, man, it, yeah. literally just, and it was phenomenal, man. I mean, all the bands Suicide Silence, Planet Burning Body, Prisons, and uh, who was that first band? Fleshboard. Fleshboard. They all, all the bands killed it. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Right on. Well, can I have you guys introduce yourself and say what you guys do in the band? Uh, my name's Aaron. I'm uh, one of the vocalists of the group. Uh, my name's Robbie. I'm the drummer of the group. I'm LJ. I do bass and vocals. My name is Quentin. I am the lead guitarist and a vocalist. Right on. Tonight was your guys' first show together under this name. Am I correct? Yes, yes, sir. How was that show? From my point of view, I thought it was phenomenal having all different styles of music, the heavy stuff, a little bit of rap in between, everything. And just having the majority between the vocals was phenomenal. It, What'd you, how was it from your guys' point of view? You know, honestly, with us, it's all about versatility, doing what we love to do, what we're passionate about. So you're welcome. You're bound to get anything from us. We like to keep it open. Light trying to, trying to figure out one path. Exactly. Right. The horizon there. All right, on. How long have you guys been together, and when did you guys get together, and how did you guys get together? <laughs> well, they've been playing since like 2013. <laughs> these two. Uh, I joined their other band, Awaiting Sacrifice, in 2015. And 2016, he we all met at uh, Slipknot. Yeah. Yeah. And it just went on from there. At Slipknot, which okay. show? Oh, Mayhem 2014. No, no, that was no, the prepared, that prepared, yeah. no, it was Slipknot. Uh, Motionless? No, it was Valentine? It was Slipknot when it rained with Marilyn Manson and a bicycle. Oh, fuck yeah. That was, that was a good tour, man. That was yeah. a good tour. Right on. So do you guys have any current releases out right now for any for viewers to check you guys out? Unfortunately, no, we don't. We're in the process. Right on, right on. Now, for people who have never heard of you guys or seen you guys live, what are three, four fans of bands you would recommend you guys sound like for people who have never heard of you guys before? Man, that's a big list of bands, honestly. Uh, we have so many influences. We have so many influences from, coming. As I can tell, you guys had a lot of different variety of sound on you guys' stage, and just the way of playing. Yeah. Well, how about we change the question up a little bit? How about how long have you guys been playing instruments, and who are you guys' earliest influences? Does that work for you guys? I've been playing in instrument since I was about probably say eight and a half years old. And uh, I mean, anything from drums to guitar to bass, any you know, anything I can get my hands on really didn't become a vocalist until Awaiting Sacrifice kind of beckoned the call. Couldn't find anybody, so I kind of stepped up to the mic. Over time, you know, my lyrics got better and better and better and better, you know, and a band that I guess influences me is kind of, you know, Lamb of God. Definitely, I love a bur Upon a Burning Body. I mean, it's one of my favorite bands now. And, uh, you know, I guess another influence would probably be Nine Inch Nails. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I started playing drums when I was eight. I started playing strings when I was like 10 or 11. Uh, my bass influences are definitely Les Claypool and Cliff Burton, for sure. And uh, I'm influenced mainly by new metal style music, so Prison was amazing to me. So, yeah started around the time he did. I picked up the drums at first and it wasn't something that I was really comfortable with up until about four or five years into me playing. I, I started at like eight. Then later on I met it with him. We sat downstairs and played, 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 played until, you know, we were able to stay with one another, which later formed, you know, later members of the band. I'd say my earlier influences is definitely Rush because my dad was a huge Rush fan. I listened to a lot of Rush. And then when I got older, I had my own taste. I grew up listening to Slipknot Corn. I'm um, a little bit as disturbed here. But mainly Slipknot. Right. Uh, me personally, I've been singing my entire life. <laughs> and uh, when these guys asked me originally, you know, you want to do vocals, at first I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Made an embarrassment on myself, but you know what? Hard work, dedication, and passion will pay off for it. It's but, a uh, experience. Oh, yeah, really absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We don't but make it easy. I gotta no. say, my influences for vocals, Corey Taylor Slipknot, Jonathan Davis Korn, mm, who else is out there? David Jermaine Disturbed. I can't think of them. I've met all those guys. Dude. I know, man. I have too. They're all great. Dude, phenomenal artists, phenomenal artists. 
Right on now. You guys have any shows upcoming anytime soon? Next thing is recording, actually, so we can get people merchandise and we can get people CDs. You know, people can actually hear what we're going to do. We're probably going to go through a two and a half to three month recording process. You know, just to make sure everything's finalized and good. And then we send it out. You know, a thing that's going to be unique about our CDs and things like that is they're going to be free. I'm going to toss them out there for the world to see and, you know, whoever likes it, likes it. Whoever doesn't, you know, critique. Let us know what we can do to make it better. Look forward to the River of Sticks. Yep. Look forward to the River of Sticks. <laughs> right on. We'll finish this interview out with one last question for you guys. We'll keep it nice and short. We'll finish it out with Metallica or Slipknot. Oh, Slipknot. we'll go yeah, down sure. this way. Down yeah. this way. I'm a sugar. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, we can nice. take that as an answer. Nice. <laughs> uh, I can't pick. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Definitely slip not. Slip not all the way. Alrighty, Slam Dancers, you heard it. That's all we have on Slam Dance the Chris Team 16 today. Be sure to check out Aoki Gahara. In Indianapolis, stay tuned. We'll have some recordings out for you, and they may be playing some shows anytime soon. And we are out. Woo!